Hello students, hope you did well with the question paper and you can see all numericals, all questions, all solutions were very well presented earlier also. Let us quickly discuss this paper and solve it. So let us begin. In general, many questions were similar to what had been asked in the previous year like pointing theorem and numerical on pointing theorem. No doubt numericals were a bit more compared to previous year, but main questions were once again Newton ring, pointing theorem, particle in one dimensional well and your few common questions of nanoscience and superconductivity. So section A was very easy. Two marks each, seven questions, uh, sorry, two marks each for uh, section A, seven questions. So when you are attempting section A, the first question was, what is the physical significance of wave function? So the correct answer for this is that the square of its absolute value at a point is proportional to the probability of finding that particle and it the wave function should be a normalized one. So you get one mark for this probability and one mark where you are mentioning that it is normalized. Then why Maxwell proposed the Ampere's law? Very common answer. Uh, Maxwell's fourth equation uh, included the time varying fields and this modification was done by Maxwell and then Ampere's law consisted of the static part and the time varying field. So if you write the equation and explain it like this also you can fetch your marks. Next Thick film shows no color in interference. Why? Basically, what happens is that in thick films, the number of wavelengths sending maximum intensity is equal to the number of wavelengths that are sending minimum intensity. Hence, fringes due to color satisfying the condition of maximum intensity will superimpose. And this is going to produce uniform illumination and ultimate result will be a uniform illumination. Rayleigh criteria of resolution, it is a very simple definition that two point sources or equally intense spectral lines are just resolved by an optical instrument when the central maximum of the diffraction pattern due to one source falls exactly on the first minimum of the diffraction pattern of the other and vice versa. You can also draw the diagram and show how they are resolved. So you can get one mark for the diagram also. And then most common question, why is helium neon laser, which is a gas laser, is superior to ruby laser? Output of helium neon laser is a continuous beam. Ruby laser gives output in the form of pulses. Helium ne uh, neon laser does not require any cooling system, whereas ruby laser requires. See, this is just a two mark question. So two points are more than enough. How step index fiber is compared with graded index? See, step index, the refractive index of core has a constant value, whereas in graded, the refractive index is continuously varying. The attenuation in step index is higher, in grading it is low and the propagating light ray reflects abruptly here but here it is smooth. You can choose any of your three, two to three differences or even if goes for half mark you can write four small small ones there is no restriction on it. What is top down and bottom up method? This is nanotechnology. See, there are two approaches for manufacturing of nanomaterials. The top down involves the breaking up of large pieces to generate nanostructures. And in bottom up, assembling single atoms or molecules into larger nanostructures like this. Better you draw the diagram, it becomes more easy to show top down and bottom up approach like this. Now, section B, this time numericals were there. And even they gave one numerical in section C also. Anyways, numericals were common ones, not very tough. Let us begin. See, the numericals are of seven marks. So even if you have managed to write the formula, you have managed to put the correct value of constants and at least two to three steps further and not able to come to the correct answer, still you can fetch four to five marks out of seven.
So let us begin. The energy of an oscillator which frequency has been given at temperature, this is treating it as, now you have to find the energy. This is Planck's oscillator numerical. So from classical theory, see two parts are there. So three and a half year, three and a half year. So a classical says Boltzmann constant into temperature, leave it in joules. Quantum says h mu upon e to the power of h mu by kt minus 1. So you find the values independently here. h mu and kt divide, find the power of e to the power and you get the answer. Since this explanation is a bit lengthier one, maybe 4 and 3 also, they can differentiate it this way also. Next, skin depth numerical. I had told earlier also skin depth. See, skin depth here, frequency given is 1.6 megahertz. Change it into hertz by multiplying it by 10 to the power of 6. Rest, all is very easy. Simple formula of skin depth. Del is equal to under root 2 upon omega sigma mu. Omega is 2 pi f. Keep this value here. You get this. Then mu is this much pi f mu sigma. Now you have all the values. You put them here in the numerical. You can show it step by step. Multiply. Find the square root. You get the answer. And attenuation is inverse of skin depth. You get this answer. Now they are asking you to find out the velocity. So V is omega upon alpha. Again, you can directly put the numerical values and you get the answer. Diffraction grating is just able to resolve two lines of wavelength so much in first order. Will it resolve the lines in, in second order? See, resolving power is given by lambda upon d lambda is equal to n into n. You can fetch one mark easily. You can even write what N and capital N means or write the formula in those terms that N is number of lines on the grating and N is order of the spectrum. So at least writing this much gives you one and a half marks total. Then you take the wavelength average like this, D lambda, subtract, and for N equal to one, you get this answer. Resolving power is lambda upon d lambda of grating in second order. So 2 into this much. So the resolving power required to resolve the lines in the second order is lambda upon d lambda. And you get the answer. This question had been solved in our series of numericals for diffraction interference. You can check it there also. Next question, the grating will not, sorry, continuing the same question, the grating will not be able to resolve the lines in second order because required resolving power is this much is greater than the actual resolving power. Okay, next question is from laser. Coherence length of sodium light is given, its wavelength is given. You have to find the frequency, number of oscillations and the coherence time. So seven marks will be divided somewhere as either two and a half, two and a half, five, six, seven, this way. So let us begin. Very famous formula of frequency is C upon lambda. C is meter per second. Lambda, one angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter and you get frequency. Number of oscillations in any length is equal to L upon lambda where L here will be your coherence length and lambda you put the value direct. Coherence time, very famous formula, distance is speed into time. Just put the numerical values and you get your answer. This is laser numerical. Okay, superconductor. This numerical was done and discussed a lot. Very famous formula, HC is equal to HC naught into 1 minus T by TC whole square. Put the numerical values here. And step by step, since it is a very direct formula based numerical, you will be fetching more marks for showing these steps. That step by step, how you get the answer. So we finish with the numericals. Now let us come to section C. As we can see, section C again is seven mark question each. First, let us see, discuss Compton effect. So two and two marks. Derive an expression. Derivation is a very lengthy one here for Compton effect. So you can say four marks here. So four, five, six and one mark why it is not observed in visible light. So you will be drawing the diagram for Compton effect. Then 
uh, you will show this diagram, explain the scattering formula. If with diagram and all also, you can fetch your two marks. Then the equation, then the conservation of momentum equations that uh, horizontal and vertical component, then your energy formula, you just put and you get the expression for your Compton wavelength. Don't discuss it further till here. You can fetch your marks easily. Why it is not observable in visible light? Because the shift is very small and hence it is undetectable. So this way the mark breakage is going to be there. Next, eigenvalue, eigenfunctions. So particle in one dimensional well. This is an application of Schrodinger wave equation. So you draw the diagram, particle in one dimensional well, show the potential, show uh, the potential values here. And then... Uh, you show the this so you your breakage of marks comes as two one then for the boundary conditions and finally you are getting your eigenvalue formula and you can show this diagram also to fetch your good number of marks okay the electromagnetic wave equation and conducting media use these equations to derive so see conducting media is a new addition to your syllabus so uh, first you write the Maxwell equation in conducting media, you will fetch your one, one and a half marks, then uh, use these to derive differential. Even if step by step you are explaining the symbols, then the Maxwell's equations, how the uh, conducting media, they will change. Simple, you put up the differential one, that will be very simple for you. Take curl on either side, then they are asking you these steps, so four, four and a half till here electric field in conducting media and magnetic field equation. This is what they are asking in the step. So you have to break those seven marks accordingly. Pointing theorem, this was asked last year also. And same numerical was asked last year again. So we repeat that this is uh, gives the conservation of energy in electromagnetic theory. And they are asking you to derive it, simple, simple steps. You are using and then just explain that this is the rate of transfer of energy. This is electric field energy, magnetic field energy, and this is our famous pointing vector. Then numerical. So I think five and two marks for the numerical. That makes it seven. So P upon yeah, four pi r square because this is going to cover the area in a circular form. And then you put the values here and E and H separately you find. Newton ring experiment, already you must have discussed it in your laboratory exams. You just have to explain them uh, how they help in determining the refractive index of a liquid. So in this expression where you were di finding the diameter of the rings, you were doing it mu one. Instead of that, retain that mu like this show how much it comes diameter of the, uh, this in terms of mu, diameter of dark ring and bright ring. And then for refractive index, you use the formula, subtract and give this formula. And then how we do it for air and liquid. And this way we find the refractive index. Grating has been asked. This is how a grating diagram you will make. You can show uh, the central maxima followed with secondary maxima and minima. Now, since this is a theoretical question of seven marks, they are asking you the theory and they are asking you to explain the formation. So you will have to explain the step of secondary maxima and minima. Write the resultant of all n amplitudes equation directly cut short few steps, show principal maxima and then differentiate this principal maxima to show how the secondary maxima and minima get formed because they are asking you the complete formation. And if you get time, do draw the diagram or you can even explain this in the beginning diagram that this is central followed with secondary. Last year, they had given the intensity equation for this. Einstein coefficient, very easy laser question. Relation between them, again, you just have to derive the relation between Einstein coefficients. One is for absorption, other is for transition, and you get your answer. Then attenuation in optical fiber, again, see, they are asking you to discuss the important factors. So attenuation obviously is loss of signal 
and what all factors can be there. It is up to you, whatever you want to write, absorption, contamination, uh, scattering, uh, etc. They are very common uh, re reasons for losses. Dispersion, you can just exaggerate these points per seven mark question. Meissner effect, experimental demonstration. So make this diagram, explain what is Meissner effect. You will fetch your three marks at least here because they are all lengthy questions. And then you should be giving this explanation that the they are asking you to give the experimental explanation. So you should be telling about resistivity and perfect diamagnetism. Next, Last question is again more of discussion of nanomaterials, how their properties vary. So if you break it, see two marks for changes, example two, three for the explanation part makes it seven marks. So physical property, electrical property, reasons, melting point, temperature, size, all these points, you can just jot them down and write a detailed explanation and you get your seven marks. So I, everything is available on all the numericals are there. You can just check them. Hope you did well with the paper. Thank you.